the timeit function. Now this comes from the timeit module, which is built into Python. And as it suggests, sorry, it allows us to time how long certain code takes to run. Now there's two ways that we can invoke the timeit function. We can pass a string to it, which is what we're doing right here with some code that we want to execute, or we can pass a function, which is the way that I'm doing it here. Now by default, the timeit function will run this code 1 million times and then take the average on how long it takes to execute. However, as you can see here, I can specify the number of times that I'd like to run it myself. So in this case, 100,000 times if I want to speed up the operation. Now here, we're just going to compare using a list comprehension to generate squares compared to using the map function. And let's see which one actually runs faster. So when I execute this here, you can see that the list comprehension took 0.3 seconds and the map function took 0.4 seconds. So we'd want to use the list comprehension. If we clear that and decide to run it again, you can see in this case, actually, it took less time. If we want to have a more consistent result, then we would just run this more times. Again, if we removed the number value here, by default, it will run it 1 million times. This is a very fast way to time different implementations of code. So if you want to check for yourself what way you should do something or you have some code that's maybe performance dependent, then definitely try using the time it module.